we're at Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. And my goodness, what a start. Up here, behind my head, there's only a limpkin sitting in a tree. A limpkin in a tree. And tell the good people what we saw flying over our heads when we started here at the marsh trail. Swallowtail kite? Swallowtail kite, no, not just one. Three. Three swallowtail kites. Wonderful. Right, we're gonna go find some birds. Two in the bush is worth two on the video. Unbelievable. What a day. It's like a, 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 a bandit version of a mockingbird. Mockingbirds all jokes and games. This guy, all business. Fantastic. A little, a little bit of tail pump there as it balances in the wind. It just came over onto the path next to me, skewered the ground. I don't know if it got any food, I don't see anything in its mouth. But it skewered the ground and then went back to this perch. Mental. We're up here on the elevated tower. And, uh, well, it gives you a much better sense of the area. It's truly truly very expansive. Um, let's come back this way. I'm going to try not to trip over as I go backwards. Although I'm sure you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? There's Mandy down there. Yep, she's not waving. She's busy looking at birds still. But yeah, I mean, look at it. just spreads out. Every direction. For as, as far as you can see is this nature reserve. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you baby limbkins. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the little high-pitched squeaking that's going on around us. It's young limbkins asking for food from the parents. The mom's like trying to show it how to get the snail itself. So what we have is teaching in action. Absolutely wonderful. Look at, I mean, look at, look at the cuteness. Look at it. Behind me here, Mandy has, in her screen, you can just about make it out, she has the snail kite. That's right, it sat down for us. It's sitting down right over there. Over there, that way, there's a limpkin. Back that way, there's a purple gallinule. Over there, there's a log eared shrike. This little area has just gone kablooey with stuff. It's absolutely amazing. Here it is, people. This is a very special bird. These birds are struggling, I think it's fair to say. They are endangered, I believe, right? These are in endangered birds. And a lot of this wetland here was set up to help provide the food that they eat. And oh, hello, given a little flap, little flap. Oh, you stood up a little bit. That's beautiful, thank you. And the food that they eat is the same food that the limpkins thrive on, which is those uh, invasive apple snails. Unfortunately, because they're so specialized to one type of food, that's what's really hurt them. It's probably a classic situation of habitat uh, destruction taking away the food supply. Thankfully, there's places like this that are creating a good environment for the snails, which therefore creates a good environment for the species that feed on the snails. Hence why the limpkins flourish here and why we have snail kites here. My goodness, they were beautiful. Simply stunning. 